In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a split screen film mat inside of Adobe Photoshop and use that inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Photoshop, you first just want to begin by creating a new document. And it's also really important here that you make this document size the same size as a HD video. So we'll go into width and change this to 1920 and then the height can be 1080. Then we'll press create. Now from here, you just want to go ahead and you want to change the color of this white background layer to black. So we'll unlock this, selecting the padlock icon there. We'll go over to the fill bucket. So that is down here. So the paint bucket tool, we'll change the color from white to black. And then we'll just paint this background layer like so. Now from here, we'll go up to the rectangular marquee tool or the rectangle mask tool. And then we'll just go ahead and draw out a mask of your choice. So I'm just going to do that here. And then once you're happy with the look of that, you want to go to the eraser tool, change the size of this all the way up to around 500, increase the hardness, and then you just want to erase the black from inside that mask. Now we'll go back to the rectangle tool. We'll draw another mask. And then same thing again, we'll go to the eraser tool and we'll erase inside that mask. Go back to the rectangle tool, create another mask. And again, we're just going to erase. And then one more time, we're just going to go back, create another mask. And then we'll just erase that. Now, if you wanted to be really precise, you can use some rulers and guides inside of Photoshop to make that really precise. Or you can just zoom in and make sure everything is aligned correctly. But if you're happy with the look of your split screen film mat, we can now export that and drop that into Premiere Pro. So you just want to go into file, export, quick export as PNG. And that will quickly export. So we'll put this on the desktop, press save. That's going to take a quick second to export. And then once that has exported, you just want to go into Premiere Pro, go into your finder, go onto the desktop and you just want to drag that PNG layer. As you can see, that is there. You just want to drag this into Premiere Pro and you want to put that onto video layer two for now. So as you can see, I've got a video on video layer one and I've got the split screen film mat on video layer two. So at the moment, because the size of this video is full screen, it's filling all of these boxes. So because we've got four gaps on the split screen film mat, we need four videos. So we're just going to move the split screen film mat up onto video layer five. And then we'll make a few copies of this video. There you go. Now from here, we'll select that video on video layer four. We'll go into the motion tab on the upper left and we'll pull the scale down. Then we'll move the position over to the left and fill it in this top left box like so. Then we'll go down to the video on video layer three. We'll do the exact same thing. We'll pull the scale down. We'll move the position over. But because this is a vertical, box over here, we can move this over and because this is on the left, it's fine. But if we do the same to video layer two, we'll pull the scale down, move this over to fit the box. As you can see, because this is vertical, it's spilling over into this layer. So we can just zoom into that layer. So we'll go 100%, pull this down. We'll go onto the pen tool here or the free draw bezier tool as Premiere calls it. And we'll just draw a mask around this box here. It is really important that you've got that correct layer selected because if you haven't and you've got a different layer selected, that mask will be applied to a different layer. So make sure you've got that selected. We'll zoom back out. We'll go to video layer one and we can either position this if we want. We can increase the scale, decrease the scale. It's completely up to you. But the great news is because this is on video layer one, it sits underneath everything else. So even though this is technically overlapping, if we turn off all of these layers, you would see this layer overlapping. But because all of these other layers are on top of this bottom layer, it doesn't matter. So once you're happy with the look of that, all you have to do is just go ahead, add some more effects onto your video layers or just export this. And you've now successfully created a split screen film mat inside of Photoshop and utilize that inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.